Hello guys, you are welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so today I'm going to be putting you through on how I was able to retouch this image from this to this using an amazing action. Of course, uh, you, I'm going to be dropping the link on how you can get this particular action. But before we talk about that, let's get straight into what this will blow your mind. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to take care of the blemishes so that we'll end up having a very neat job. So just pick up any of the blemish remover to I'll quickly just deal with the blemishes on the image. Maybe I'll just use my patch tool. That should be able to give me a good place to start. Okay. I think I'll have two minutes. Let me reset this. Reset photography. All right. So we'll have all our, let's get our history right here. Stack it all in here. All right, so we'll have our history of our action. It needs to be the first. All right, so, okay, so we'll have everything working perfectly. Don't think I'll be needing this. So I'm just trying to make sure I have a very nice uh, workspace to work with. Okay, beautiful, nice. All right, so we'll have it all stacked together. All right, so let's go back to work. Take care of your blemishes. Just any way that you know will work for you to take care of your blemishes, I would advise you do that because it's going to determine how neat your job is going to come out at the end of the day. Okay, so I think I'm done with the ones I could I can remove right now. The rest will be fixed in this particular tutorial. All right, so the first action we're going to be clicking is my eye whitening so i'm just going to quickly take care of the eyes i'm going to quickly take care of the eyes of course you can decide to start with any of them but let me just build it like this systematically so i'll just quickly take care of the eyes like this of course we kind of we can drop the opacity of this if you do not like the way it's appearing in your own image of course this is too much so we'll just do the same thing over here, just like this. Fix this area. Okay, so we'll drop the opacity, just like that. Let's see how it looks. Nice. So this is before, this is after. So we'll have this. I'm going to flatten this off so it doesn't affect any other thing we'll be doing. So the next thing I want to fix is my skin tone. So I'll go to my auto skin tone and I'll click it. Of course, I'm going to just pick. Now, this is how to use this particular action. This area, this particular step allows you to pick your skin tones because uh, the auto correction knows that skin tones are different. So you just have to pick, it, pick the ones that will work for you. You must not use exactly the one that I've done already. You can pick it the way it will work for you. So this is how to pick it. You go to the first one, select the brightest part of your image. So I think somewhere here is the brightest. Copy the, the code. Sorry, not the code. Let's go back. Copy the brightness level. Yeah, 70. Copy the brightness. Press OK, then paste it in the location. Go to this one, pick the mid-tone. So for this case, I think uh, I'll be picking here as my mid-tone. Copy the brightness, 45. Paste it in your location. Then for the last one over here, pick the darkest part of your image. So for this one, I think I'll be picking it somewhere around here. 44, no. Let's try this, 33, okay. So copy the brightness, press OK, and paste. So we'll have it, press OK, and press OK. So the rest will be done. Now, it's going to give you the selection of your skin. It's going to give you the selection of your skin. So now, you can decide to use this selection or you can decide to refine the selection. So I think I'll be refining my own selection. So I'll just quickly take it away from the dress like this. Yeah, quickly take it away from the dress. And probably add this area of the skin like that. Okay, so I think I'm okay with the selection. The rest we can refine later. Then delete this original mask. You can as well use that one, then just create a new one. So it just applies it on that new refined selection. You can drop the opacity at 100. So you can see the areas that didn't get the selection and you refine your mask by yourself. So after the refining, 
you can now reduce the opacity to what you want it to be. So I do not want it in my eyes. Yeah, over here, I do not want it here. I actually also do not want it here because I think I'm having just an intentional different color shade here by the makeup artist. So I'm just going to maintain that color shade. You can as well remove it from your eyebrow like this. Yeah, like that. So drop the opacity or the fill, whatever, or the fill, whatever you want to do. So this is before, this is after. So if you look at the image, the colors are perfectly, the skin tone are perfectly blended together. So I think I need to remove it from my lips like this. Beautiful. Okay. So after doing that, I'm also going to match it up. So we don't have a lot of layers stacked up. I wouldn't want you to get confused. So the, sec the next thing we're going to be looking at is our teeth whitening. So we'll just play the action. Just play the action and clean up the teeth. If it needs to be cleaned up, then flatten it one more time. So the next thing I want to take care of is I want to enhance the lips or rather we'll do that later. So let's apply the main magic action. This is the where the magic is. So I'm just going to go to done for you retouch. Press OK. And now this is the Gaussian blur. You should understand that the Gaussian blur is the place that determines how much details you want to retain at the end of the day or how much smoothness you want your image to have. So because of this image, I want to have a very high smoothness so we can see the extreme results. So I'm going to be placing it somewhere around three or two. Let's do three and I'll press OK. It will finish up the rest. So we are done. Look at the before and after before after so this is why i said you should take care of your blemishes so it doesn't show up at this point of the retouch so if you didn't take care of your blemishes this is where you might have to start taking care of it so look at before look at after isn't this amazing isn't this amazing we are almost done with the whole image so i think it's spilling into my lips so i'm just going to create a mask for it and just remove it from the teeth yeah i want it on the lips gives it that smoothness Gives it that smoothness. So just from the teeth, I remove it from the teeth and we are good to go. So I'm going to one more time, flatten it up. So this is where we are going to apply our lip and eyebrow enhancer. We just apply it on the lips and on the eyebrow just to make them stand out like this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just like that. So the eyebrow. This is the eyebrow over here. Let's zoom in. Just follow it the way it is. Like this. Nice. Do the same over here. So if you feel you do not want the coloration on the uh, on the image, you can go to the you can go to the group and take care of the coloration. So I think it's in my hue and saturation. You can as well drop down the saturation and it will give you a very dark effect. That is if you want to do it. So I'm just going to reduce the saturation a little so it doesn't look too much. Okay, so this is before for the lips and eyebrow. This is after so this enhances your lips and your eyebrow so i'm going to flatten it up like always then the next thing i will want to do is my auto dodge and bone so i'm just going to quickly run my auto dodge and bone pick up my brush and paint over the image you don't necessarily need to be careful it has been set in a way that it knows your highlights and your shadows perfectly so you just have to paint over like this and reduce the opacity and you are good to go so i feel my bone is too dark so I'm just going to go to the bond directly and reduce the fuel just like that. Do the same for the dots before I drop down the overall opacity of the group. So this is before, this is after. Look at that contrast. So we'll drop it down like this. Yeah, I think I love it there. Before, after, then we'll have to do the final step, add our sharpening like that. Just place our sharpening and we are good to go. So you can open it up and see how detailed it is. So it's giving us a lot of pixels that looks like blemishes. So I'm going to, of course, reduce the opacity. So let's drop it down. Just a minimal place. Yeah, somewhere around here. So how before and after. I'm going to flatten it up and we are good to go. We are practically done with the image. So you can just decide to go to the color balance and add a little magenta to the skin tone just to make it look a bit more beautiful. Just like that. Same thing for the highlights. Maybe you can move the highlights towards the blue. And you are good to go. So this is the color grading before, after, and we are good to go. So let's look at the overall before and after of the image. That was why I brought in my history. So I'm going to take a snapshot over here. 
then go to the beginning of the whole edit. So we can just look at it. So this is before. Isn't this amazing? This is after. Wicked, wicked, wicked action. So like I said before, we are going to be dropping the link on how you can get this particular action. So looking at this image, I think my uh, color balance is too much. So I'm going to drop it. Like I was saying, we are going to be dropping the link to this particular action, how you, how you can get it. So just click on the link in the description of the video below and you will get the instruction on how you can get this action. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not subscribed and click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. We really need your subscription so that we can get encouragement to keep dropping premium, premium, premium tutorials for you. Thank you for watching this amazing tutorial. See you on the next one. Bye.